right, so I just got to the airport and checked through security quickly. And I come to find out that my flight is delayed three hours and 20 minutes, which is fantastic. So the reason this is so annoying is because the last time I tried to fly to Chicago, which was about two weeks ago, it was during that massive uh, polar vortex thing where it was like negative 50 degrees up there and they essentially shut down all flights 24 hours in advance and there was no hope in me getting there. So now we've rescheduled and we are trying again, but I'm already delayed three hours and 20 minutes. So. This isn't starting off too well, but we'll push through and hopefully get there some way or another. Um, if I don't get there, I think it's a little ridiculous to reschedule again, but I will do it if I have to. Luckily, I have both of my brothers live in Chicago and I always have a place to stay, so it's not that big of a deal. I just don't want to sit at the airport for like five hours doing nothing. But I guess it's not that bad, I can always study. I'll probably just like listen to podcasts. Now I know some of you guys are watching this asking yourself like why are you interviewing for a fellowship but it's kind of a misnomer it's not actually fellowship per se it's more of like your last year of residency uh, which is it used to be a fellowship you used to have to apply to interventional radiology fellowship after you finished diagnostic residency but now they've done all this different switching into different interventional radiology pathways. You can do an integrated pathway, which is matched straight into IR or backfill into the IR integrated pathway once in residency, which I don't think you'll be able to do anymore. That's just the last few years we were able to do that. There's also something called early specialization in interventional radiology, which is what I'm doing. And that is when you decide you want to do IR your third year and you basically switch over into the interventional radiology pathway um, and do more IR related stuff that year. So yeah, even though I'm in the ESIR pathway, I still have to interview for my final year of IR residency or fellowship. Um, I even had to interview at my home institution just as a formality, even though I hope they wouldn't not give me a spot. Uh, I think they would, but you still have to interview everywhere. And I'm going on a few interviews just to see what else is out there and to see if I want to stay or want to go somewhere else. The only reason I would go somewhere else is your once they change this whole IR pathway, your final year of diagnostic residency slash IR residency is almost essentially all interventional radiology. So now it's almost like you're doing a two year fellowship, like a one and a half year fellowship. So after your final year of IR residency, you're pretty skilled, or you will be pretty skilled um, after that year. So do you really want to do another year at the same institution? Or would you want to see how other institutions do things and maybe learn from other world renowned attendings uh, from other institutions? So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I love my program. I would not mind staying here at all. And I may in fact stay here, but I just want to see what else is out there. And my program directors even encouraged me to do so. So that's what I'm doing. Forty six minutes. So we do have a safety demonstration. We hope What's up guys? So I have officially made it to Chicago. I didn't vlog when I was at the airport like I usually do because thanks to United, 
I was stuck in rush hour traffic because my flight landed at 5 p.m. So I, then I had to take, there was like an hour and a half Uber ride to get here. So I decided to take the train instead, or the L train. Um, got here, and now I'm here, waiting for my brother to get home. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat. And then I have my first interview tomorrow. It's technically my second one, but the first one was at my institution. So tomorrow is the first outside interview. So we'll see how it goes. Officially made it to my interview spot in Chicago. I'm sure you guys can probably guess where it is. It's just off this kind of stuff. Anyways, about to go in, see what happens. All right, so we officially finished our first interview, our first external interview here in Chicago. I'm trying not to slip on all this snow. And now I'm going to go into my brother's house and probably just sit here, have a good dinner, and fly back home tomorrow. Alright, so I just got back to the Chicago airport. Um, getting ready to hop on my flight. Um, overall, I think the interview went pretty well. Uh, they do a really high volume of vascular work here, which is kind of rare for an IR group. Um, they do a lot of peripheral arterial disease, they do a lot of aortas, uh, which mostly is vascular surgeons everywhere else. So they have pretty much monopoly over that. Um, overall, I like the guys that work here. The attendings are all nice, the bills are all nice. They work a lot and they work hard, but I think they will be well prepared uh, for a career in IR. Um, sorry for that, I'm so tired. Um, I've got like five hours of sleep last night. I was hanging out with the family until really late in the morning. And uh, yeah, so now I'm here. Really like the program, hope they like me. And I leave two days from now to go to Philadelphia for another interview and we'll do this all over again. So, but this is just how it goes when you're interviewing for fellowship. Well, fellowship. <laughs> So guys, it literally looks exactly like it was when I landed. Rainy and disgusting. So I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys on the next interview.